Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to go over some of the new great updates that Google put into their Google Classroom. These are important updates that just will make everything from your creating of the streams to marking your assignments so much easier. So let's go over these great updates today. So if you haven't logged in to your Google Classroom in a while, you're going to notice some distinct changes right away. And that's right across the top where you used to just say stream and about. Now you can see stream, classwork, and people. Now this is a great change because this is going to help you keep a lot more organized and for your students too. Because before I always found the stream could get so cluttered with uh, different things from announcements and assignments and questions. But now if you look at the stream, it's going to be a place for your announcements. So if I hit the plus down below here, you can see I can reuse the post or create an announcement. So this is where you can send your messages quickly to your class. The other thing, now if I go over to classwork and click on it, you can see, and I've already created one topic here called assignments and I put an assignment in it. You can keep your assignments much more organized in this one. So I'll create a topic real quickly. I'll go create and I'm going to create a topic and we'll just call this one projects here and hit add. So I'm going to have uh, another. So now when I add my assignment, I can pick the topic I want it to belong in. So when they go and see the classwork area, everything is organized very nicely and you can move these in different places. So if you click these little three dots, you can see you can rename, delete, move up or down. So if I wanted this one to go up, I could just click on it and change the positions of it to get the effect that you want on it. So I think with those two, uh, two organization features will make a big change. Let's move over. Uh, actually, first, before we do this, I'll just show you one more thing here. You can see where you can create your assignments and your questions and reuse your posts right inside this. Let's move over to the people now. So with people, this is where you're going to have your add your other teachers. If you're collaborating on a class together, you can just simply just hit this little uh, plus uh, to invite teachers. And this is where you can invite your students here or you can email uh, that your guardians will come up as uh, as you enter in your students and you'll have that option here too. Now I'm going to move over to the settings because the settings is different. And if you go up to the very top here, here. We'll click on this and this is where you're going to get your class code. So if you want to make sure if you're uh, if you want to copy it, just click the little arrow or display it. You can see we have display, copy, reset or disable in here. So remember, if you're in the front of the class and you just want to put it on, a, 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 you know, maybe a board, you can hit the display and the students will be able uh, to see it here. Uh, the other thing you can see here, uh, if you only wanted uh, teachers to post in here, you can kind of make these changes here. Uh, set before you have the course and you can make your other changes if you wanted to edit the name to it too. So I'm just going to go back and I want to show you one of my favorite features here and that's uh, for assessing or marking or adding comments to students work and that is uh, so under uh, people here if I go ahead and click and these are just some extra accounts I have so if I click on this one I open it up I can see the assignment I already created so if I go ahead I can see uh, that I handed in three different assignments here so I'm just going to open this up I can see all the assignments so what I really like about this so if I go ahead and click on one of these now let's say uh, I'll just click on this first one so not only does it give uh, open up the ones that the student handed in I can quickly now change between all of them so look at the drop down right here so if I wanted to go to a different student if I'm marking one uh, paper I can go through and just quickly change and then I'm going to be on the next one so I love that feature because uh, just a matter of not having to open up many tabs and just switching back and forth uh, from the different students to quickly go through and read them just saves a lot of time. And the other thing now that I would like to point out is over on the right hand side, look, you can add if you're using the grades right here, you can add the grades here uh, depending on what how you set up your assignment here. You can see how you can change your total points here. Also, the comments, make a, pr a private comment, just type something in here uh, and you can make 
uh, a private comment to the person marking on this one too so they'll be notified of that comment and then you have a comment bank that you can start so going up to the top here look at comment bank so you can add a comment here I could write something something that you're going to be using a few times over and I'm just going to go example on this one and we hit add and this is going to be added to the comment bank so I can quickly grab that comment and apply it um, as uh, you see fit to it so those I think are going to be a great feature just to speed up efficiency when you're looking at when you have a lot of students and you're using Google Classroom will help a lot now I'm just going to go back to the classroom uh, I just want to show you one more thing and I'm just going to go back to the classes to show you the thing they've added now is uh, you can copy an entire class so before you could you reuse assignments and we can still reuse repost them but now if I go and this is a new one that I just created uh, if I click on these little, three little dots notice that there's copy here so I can go ahead and copy this and it's going to create a brand new copy and it's going to take out you can see how it will take out the rosters from it and any announcements in that different one so you can just save a lot of time in this one uh, so once it's done copying it will just uh, put it up and you'll see a different section of it like so so now I got the two different ones here as it opens up and that will save you a lot of time for each year re reusing if you have old ones though uh, these are some old ones that I've used in the past if I click on this notice that the copy isn't there so what you'd have to do in your create your new class um, on it and then reuse the post and then from future on then it will work unless they make an update that allows it to copy over from here but right now the old ones don't uh, don't work on this one one thing that's missing that they don't have currently after the updates is a place to add your resources so for instance if I go uh, to this one where I was it, under the about I could add resources for the class now there's no about and if I look under settings there's nowhere to do this so I hope this is uh, something that they do add because I like being able to put the resources uh, for the entire class under one place uh, so I'm sure they're gonna hear uh, different people suggest that and maybe make that update in the future so I hope you like these uh, tips today or this uh, walkthrough of the new update here of Google Classroom I'm excited about these ones because I think these ones just will make things so much more efficient for the teacher and for the students so I hope you like this and you have um, try to share this with a few other people that maybe haven't uh, seen the new updates yet to Google Classroom which might find this helpful remember I do weekly tech tips and if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this week and I'll see you next time